everyone. I am Tiffany Moore Russell, your Orange County Clerk of Court, and I'm here again for this edition of The Slice, a behind the scenes of your clerk's office. And today we have with us Mrs. Michelle Spurzel, CEO of Harbor House of Central Florida. And we're going to talk about domestic violence mm -hmm. and share with us what do we what do you see at Harbor House when you're dealing with people with domestic violence? So we have a lot of different services and I would say the number one is that we I want people to know is that we serve men, women and children. Uh -huh. And so that is a big piece. If you are someone who's experiencing domestic violence, Harbor House is going to be able to help you. And we have our a crisis hotline that someone can call. We have our emergency shelter on our campus with our emergency shelter. We have our kennel where someone can bring in their pets. And we also have a DCF certified child care program right there. We have offices here in the courthouse okay. as well and on the fifth floor. And we have attorneys there to help someone with some legal advice, filing an injunction. And we also have amazing advocates that will help survivors navigate the legal system because as you know, it's something that can be really difficult. And then some of the other programs that I'm super proud of of are the things that we have in our schools because we're really working to help stop violence before it starts okay. or break the cycle of domestic violence in the schools by having educational classes in the schools and really teaching kids about perseverance, understanding resiliency, how to have a healthy end to a relationship, how to um, really talk about what a healthy relationship is. And so we are doing a lot of work when it comes to domestic violence. Awesome. And so my next question was going to ask you all about your services and you just shared those with us. But I'm going to ask you to follow up on one. Yeah. Share with them, what was the vision and why the kennel services? Why, why is that yeah. a big deal? It's a big deal because one of the biggest things we try and do is remove barriers to someone leaving a relationship. Okay. And um, some of those barriers would be, one, I have kids, what do I do? And so that's why we make sure that we have child care on site. But at the same point in time, one of the number one reasons why someone doesn't leave is because they don't want to leave their pets behind right. as well. And animals are oftentimes the first victims when it comes to to domestic violence. It's much easier to explain away that um, the cat ran away or the dog okay. ran away or the cat got hit by a car, something like that. And so we wanted to make sure we had a place for the entire family to come into our emergency shelter. And the Pause for Peace kennel is really what we have to do that. And since we've opened, um, we average right around 30 to 40 pets that are okay. coming in with people every year. And we've had cats, dogs, We've had ferrets, we've had bunnies, <laughs> we've had iguanas, we've had birds, we've had fish. Um, just uh, whatever your pet is, we want to make sure that you are coming in and that your pet is safe as well. Awesome. And so as you know, our office has as many clerks across the state of Florida. Mm -hmm. um, we, we work when it comes to helping those who want to seek an injunction, as many people know, or many people call it a restraining order. Yep, right. They call it both. And so, just kind of share a little statistics with everyone here today is that in 2018 and 2019, we processed over 5,000 petitions. Mm -hmm. But one of the things that we've noticed in 20 and 21, they've been declining, you know, by more than a thousand, right? And so, so far this year, um, we probably will see about nearly 3,000 petitions this year. Not, it doesn't mean that this issue is not important because Correct. we've seen a decline in those seeking a petition. And so tell us why that's important. It's important because one, we know, and you hear in media and you hear on news reports, when people are saying an injunction is just a piece of paper, okay. it's a really important piece of paper. It's something that's really important because it's one of those levels of protection that someone can get when they're experiencing domestic violence, especially when you're trying to really show a pattern of behavior and a pattern of abuse. And it's one of the legal systems that we have in place. And so it's important to note that um, it's declining and we also need to do more education so people know what types of injunctions are out there, what do you need to file an injunction, how the clerk and also how Harbor House and other domestic violence agencies work together to make Make sure that people know that this is a tool that you can utilize in order to be safe, be free, and also at the same point in time hold an abuser accountable. So when we're working with some of our, so on the other side, since we're sharing the services, um, our attorney program that this past year, they worked with right around 800 individuals okay. with basically either representing them or giving them legal advice for their injunction for protection. And then as far as the agency as a whole, our, our outreach services, we worked with right around 5,000 5, individuals um, and an additional 700 that were in our emergency shelter. Each one of those individuals that we're working with, however it ends up 
they come mm -hmm. to us, we talk to them about the different services that are available and filing an injunction, be it that it's a stalking injunction, okay. um, repeat violence injunction, or it might be that um, you are looking to see what else it is that you can do. We want to make sure that we're working together in order to help people get the helps that they I mean, get working together to get the help that they need. Awesome. And please know, 3,000 is still too many. It is too many. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. And what service, let's talk about our partnership. Yeah. You know, would you share with them what is it like for us to work together here in the courthouse? So our courthouse, I mean, as far as when we're working together, it's pretty great. Um, what we end up doing is that um, Harbor House is in a wonderful position that we have an office on the fifth floor. And so if someone is coming in to the courthouse and they don't necessarily know where to go, they have two different locations within mm -hmm. the courthouse to go to and go to the clerk of court's office to find out and get the information as far as what an injunction is and then if they still don't know what type they want to file since there are five different mm -hmm. types they can be directed upstairs to the harbor house okay. office and then we can sit down with an advocate and help them understand we can help them um, with getting the referral right away to an attorney and oftentimes if it's someone who comes up to harbor house and we find out that it's not intimate partner it might okay. be neighbor on neighbor and there needs to be an injunction filed, then we're able to refer back down and explain what's going on. So there's that. Um, we're able to refer people to your amazing self-help okay. area as well in order to have them have other help with different court issues. Awesome. So tell us more about your 24-hour hotline and where people can turn to if they need help. The 24-hour the hotline, you can call or you can text there. That's one thing we added during COVID. And so that number is 407 886 Two eight five six, and I, what you can do is you can reach out to an advocate. It's managed twenty four seven, okay. and it might be just someone who's reaching out to the very first time, saying, "I'm a, I don't know what I'm experiencing. I think that I need help," and that can be via text or it can be by calling and having a conversation with the advocate. And it's often their entryway into Harbor House, and okay. so it'll be having a conversation about what it's like to live in the emergency shelter, um, setting up and doing a safety plan, um, and talking through what is an injunction and how do you set up an appointment or to be able to do that or talk to one of our lawyers or it could be setting up an appointment with someone who's in our outreach. It doesn't necessarily mean that someone who's calling us is someone who needs emergency shelter. Okay. It might be that they're just trying to find out about domestic violence and it's a huge resource that we have in our community um, because sometimes people call and they need other services. Mm -hmm. So we'll refer them to mental health services, homeless services. We might refer them to um, a suicide hotline. It all just kind of depends on what the person's need is when they call us. Awesome. And so you mentioned earlier all of the services you offer. If we have anyone who is watching this video, how can someone who wants to help how can they help they reach out volunteer us. for Harbor House or provide some type of service if they're watching this and they're passionate about giving back? That's a great question. So we have an amazing volunteer base. Okay. And so we have anywhere between three to 4,000 individuals that volunteer with us every year. And we need that because mm -hmm. of the different things we have going on. So the best way is to really reach out and we can reach out to us at contact us okay. at harborhousefl.org. You can call the hotline and say you're interested in volunteering and how can you get involved, reach out to us via Facebook. Awesome. And so there you go. October, for many of us in the community, recognize it as Domestic Violence Awareness Month. Mm -hmm. And we want to thank Michelle for joining us for this edition of The Slice. And many clerks across the state of Florida are also bringing awareness to domestic violence. And right here in Orange County, we'll be doing the same. So thank you all so much for joining us. And you look for the next series. Thank you. Mm -hmm.